One of the things that we do at the distillery that I enjoy probably above all things is taking a group of people and we walk through a sampling of a flight tasting of our bourbon. And with that sampling immediately, uh, once you get a sip or two in, the, the questions start to just flow from the customers. And they range for anywhere from uh, you know, the most basic, uh, uh, what makes up a bourbon, to some of the more uh, detailed tasting notes, uh, maybe wanting to know a little bit about the grain itself, the source from it, or, or the barrels where they came from. Uh, but being able to have that dialogue with the customers and really start to dissect the bourbon itself and walk through a sensory exercise um, is really a lot of fun. When someone's just getting into bourbon or whiskey, and let's say they're jumping up from beer or wine, uh, it's a big step in proof in alcohol difference, right? So uh, a lot of customers that, that I meet with, they get that immediate fire in their olfactory system and it's the alcohol talking and you're not used to that. And so getting over that, that wall of fire, as I call it, it does take time. Um, but the way you work through that is either twofold. One, through practice with repetition. Uh, but two, there's no shame in adding water to bourbon or whiskey as you're first getting started. Why fake an experience that you don't really uh, feel because it's new to you, cut it down with water and take it to the point where you can, your olfactory system, your senses start to sense something else besides that fire. When I get home, I sit down and I'm ready to enjoy our old Raleigh bourbon. First thing is generally, I'm gonna pour myself a nice neat pour, uh, similar to this glass that you see right here. I just prefer a little bit of a tulip uh, glass, but again, that's all uh, subjective, what your preference is. Um, but um, any bourbon or whiskey, uh, if you want to nose it and really get an essence of the whiskey itself, uh, what I'd encourage you to do is start about a foot away and slowly work your way in. And the reason you want to slowly work your way in is you've got your olfactory system up here and you want to get it acclimated to the alcohol in hopes that you can cut through that burn that's going to be in your olfactory system and try to pick up on different notes. So uh, an example of that right here is you start about a foot away, I work my way in slowly, and it's given me a chance to try to pick up on those notes. Now right off the top here, um, vanilla, caramel, and allspice, a little black pepper on this one. Again, it's, it's all about being slow and methodical about the process. The exciting part about tasting whiskey is doing that, not nosing whiskey, but tasting whiskey. When I'm first tasting a whiskey or bourbon, uh, the first sip, I almost call it a throwaway. And what I'm trying to do is I'm taking a sip when I want to coat the tongue, the top of the mouth, my cheeks, trying to get the olfactory system acclimated to 93 proof alcohol. So let me do that right here. I'm biased, but this is good, the first sip. Uh, <laughs> give it a few seconds. The second go round is when you take a sip, and this is where I really start to try to dissect the whiskey itself. Now, one thing that stands out for me in a good whiskey or bourbon that I look for, regardless of the tasting notes, is how does it coat your mouth? I like a, a whiskey that's really gonna coat my mouth, and that for me is synonymous with what I call a good whiskey but I really like a whiskey that, that coats the mouth, coats the tongue, um, and goes down nice and smooth. This batch six, in my opinion, does do that. When I'm blending, that's my ultimate goal, right? So each batch is gonna be a little bit different, but um, at minimum, I'm looking for that consistency and how it coats the mouth, coats the palate, and this one certainly does that for me. Bourbon is meant to be enjoyed. And in order to enjoy it, you need to have your glass exactly how you prefer it and not what somebody else is telling you how it should be enjoyed. So whether that be uh, neat, like what I have here, that is my preference. Uh, unless it's hot out, I may throw in an ice cube. Uh, but if someone wants to add in ice or water to cut it down a little bit, may open it up. Again, that's your glass. And so if you're gonna drink bourbon, and you're with friends, why not enjoy it? So have it exactly how you want to enjoy it and don't feel pressured by others to drink it any other way. Anyone drinking bourbon should know this, uh, that uh, 
Tasting is subjective. So that's one thing that I've tried to acutely stay clear of is taking anybody's opinion as gospel. But if you're just getting into the bourbon whiskey game, uh, have fun with it and know that it's okay to not have all the answers because guess what? I didn't either, right? But uh, I've learned and acquired uh, a taste and a palate uh, over time and ultimately I've gained a, a thorough appreciation for what I think is a really exceptional bourbon or whiskey.